I was driving. All of a sudden, Kenny, I mean, Denny Call said the guru wants to go. So, I don't know if, if Kenny, Denny's driving or the guru's driving, but I took all my gear out of my truck and got it sitting there on the side of the driveway, waiting for one of those fine looters to show up and drive me to the beach, the land of Nala. We got some breeze too rough for the bay, that's why we're going back to Nala today. Stand by. Beaver went last night and uh, found lots of change, but no kind of bling. But he did find a 1923 and a 1935 Buffalo nickel. Now where in the hell did they come from? While he was up in the dry sand looking for some earrings for a lady, he found them. Maybe the dredge pumped them up there. I don't know. I don't know where two buffalo nickels would come from in Virginia Beach. In the new sand. Unless this dredge did pump them up there. Anyway, we'll see y'all in a little while. Stand by. Got the guru with us this morning. We'll find some tickets today. He bring us luck. Guru. Oh, slow today. The gold guru. <laughs> Shark man, shark hunter Bob. I can ever catch up with him. What he's doing out here on Tuesday? He's supposed to be working. He's a treasure for us. What's wrong with him? Hey, hey, <coughs> hey. What'd you do, get fired? <laughs> What's going on? Not too much, we're just getting here. Found anything to treasure yet? Heck no, man. It was bad here yesterday, God. <coughs> yeah, I came down last <coughs> night, got a couple guys from Pennsylvania came in. <coughs> Barely even three pennies. Mm. Sad, sad, sad. You doing any good? Hell no. Only why I came back here today. It's too rough to go on the bay. This guy here is a legend in his own mind. Yeah? How you doing? What's his name? That's Pat. That's Bruce. That's my Pat. From Pennsylvania. Good to meet you, buddy. I'm Max. Hi, Hi buddy. Digger. We hung all the way down. Did you go to Cavalier? Yeah, Very I'm one at the end. I found two uh, dollar coins yesterday, Nighthawk. Well, I wish they'd come back. I wish some people would start using them. Boy, it'd be know, nice. Man. Like Canada, dollar and two dollar coins. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, I, I thought maybe with them raking, they'd pull more stuff up. Well, see, like I said, that don't get the coins. I just... Well, yeah, but I figured they'd pull coins and everything Yeah. Hell, you could run that rake behind you. Finally, a low south. Twelve fourteen. Let's see what twelve fourteen brings us today. Now it's got a major scratchy sound to it, like a bling piece of bling crap or something. I like we got it. Well, what it's supposed to be, five bigger cents. Another quarter? I was hoping for something else. No, a nickel. Time you be back with this thing, I'll come back. What's that? Be finished in about an hour.
Guru has turned around. He said he had three cents. He's going to work out there in that knee deep water back to the northern. Me and Denny, I guess we're going to work our way up to the pier from here. We got a little bit of a shell line right here. A few rocks, but still no targets. Stand by. Guru, uh, I think, is on a target. He might as well be in Ocean City, big waves like that. <laughs> ain't quite as big as Ocean City, though. Come on, Guru, get that ticket out of there. He either didn't find it or gave up on it. Looks like he's moving on. No, he's still hunting for it. Well, so far, right along here has been the best of it for me so far today. I got a penny, I got a dime, and I got a piece of aluminum right in through here, right on the wash. I'm going to work in here for a little while, see if there's anything else in this wash. Stand by. You find anything out there in the deep? No. Good penny. Dime. Dime. Well, he's rich, man. I found uh, a two pennies, a piece of aluminum, and a dime right there down that break. That's the best. That's the best I've seen it right there. It's so damn. You know, this is the best looking spot right here. Yeah. You see how the cut is? There gotta be something in here. I found a key just a second ago. Yeah. I, got, I got a drywall bucket for it.
two more bling earrings. I got a little toe ring. some 1201s, but most of them have been aluminum or small stuff that falls through my scoop. I'm going to pick this up if I get it. Take it to the beach. It's deep, more than I would like for it to be. Sounds like Damn, I would have thought we'd had it on that one. Now we got it. Let's go up here and see what this is. Well, it's in that pile right there. Some kind of damn bling aluminum. Look at that piece of crap. I told you it was crap. A 12.26. I can't tell you what a 26 is. I can see it now though. It's a piece of aluminum. 12.26. There you go. Then they found a nice chain coming back up. Silver, I think. Brand spanking new. That thing off a heavy silver. Silver is heavy. Well, I'm getting ready for the roundup. Stand by just a minute. We'll be uh, we'll be there. Got something else to do. I've been on a wild goose chase for. 90 minutes. Somebody said that at a local, one of the local malls here, they had a store, a kiosk or whatever you want to sell, call it, that sells uh, cell phones. I mean, buy cell phones. So I said, well, I ain't having much luck selling these other ones. This you sell outfit is crap. They send you to five or six buyers, and once they get them, you send them in as damage. And then they don't want to pay for nothing for them, four dollars. So I send them, I get them all back. So I went over there. The mall is, the guy said, oh, we don't have it anymore. Maybe it's the Linhaven Mall. That's a bigger mall. So I steamed on over there. They don't have it either. The guy says, I think it's in Greenbrier Mall. I said, okay, thank you. I come the hell home. Goose chase for nothing. I hate it. Roundup. Solid hot goose. Someplace. But it wasn't in the land of nada. I did manage to find one bling piece of crap ring. This earring is sort of interesting. It's got a, a mark on the part that goes in your ear. I'll give you a picture of it. I don't know if we'll be able to make it out. Other than that, this rest of it's bling. 
see you tomorrow, somewhere. Good luck to everybody.